Well, from the title of this video, you guys can see that I got a new camera. I got a Bell & Howe Filmasonic XL Power Zoom Movie Camera, which is a Super 8 camera, if you guys didn't know. And I got it for steel. This is an original packing. Um, I think the people that I got it from were the original owners. It smells like it, it smells brand new. Manual. I move the box out of the way. Even the styrofoam is in good shape. So. It smells new. The camera even smells new. So, it smells like leather and all that good stuff. We got a camera, um, microphone. I guess to keep the microphone hooked on the bottom. But, I'm gonna move that out of the way for now and show you guys this. Um, yeah, this is a bell and howl. But, yep, Bell and Howe Filmasonic XL. And when I got it, I, you know, recently tested it. I had put batteries in. The battery compartment is here at the bottom. And it takes six AA batteries here. Yep, takes those six. Insert it in a certain way, it'll tell you. Uh, let me lock it back in place. Hold on. Alright, we're good. Um, open film compartment. Just press it open. Shoot. Hold up, drop the batteries. I guess I didn't lock it all the way like I thought I did. But that just means I can show you guys how it goes. Just follow the instructions on the side. And you should be good to go. And it just says insert this way. I think that's the right way. I don't know. Let's see. Locked it in. Um, got the on off switch. As you can hear, the motor goes when you turn it on. Even a red light indicator right there. But it's still pretty new to me. Um, okay, this button right here seems like it when you look through the viewfinder it'll be black but you have to toggle this switch to be able I guess it's like a it protects the interior of the camera so I guess you know you move it back and forth and it'll block it or it'll open it up for you but this looks like the exposures here 18 or 24 frames per second then you got a slow motion button on off switch battery test button here and it tells you where your battery percentage is right there uh try to get it focused right there for you um you can probably see that little thing moving right there but that's what that does and then it says start in i guess that indicates how much film you have left I'm not too sure what this is right here. But, yeah, that's pretty much on that side. Um, not sure what this does. It says normal, low, um, headphone jacks, power, and mic input. In some videos, I saw that the microphone was connected to the front, so... Uh, 
when you do have it, you don't worry, have to worry about holding the mic in one hand and holding the camera in the other hand. I guess, you know, I'm not too sure. But then you have the um, autofocus here. The autofocus is here on the side. Let me try to turn it up for you guys. Okay. The autofocus is here on the side. And it just rolls down, manual, up, auto. And uh, it's pretty simple as that. You have the light, the tungsten light, and the uh, daylight. Switch here. And then you have buttons at the top. Tele, wide, fast, slow. You have those options at the top of the camera. And as far as the lens go, this built-in lens is a eight and a half millimeter. It's an eight and a half millimeter to a twenty-four millimeter. So you have a lot of zoom range and it gets really wide and that's really good I think and it's also a f1.3 so that on top of a good um, box of film I think it would be no problem in low light and here you can set the aperture you know just different type of stuff 1.2 meters, 1.5, 2 meters, 3 meters, 4, 7, 15, da, da, da. and then you know this is to indicate where your um, where, where, where um, uh, la, la, la. so you'll be at 8.5, 12, 16, 20, 24 so um, it, it, it shows you your range that you can do so it's uh, pretty good, I think so. Um, I wish I could show you guys how far, you know, how to look into all this, but you know, I really can't do too much. But I purchased this from a garage, from a from a guy, from Facebook Marketplace. He was actually selling this camera for thirty dollars. Um, I got it for ten, so I think it's a. I got a steal for the price, and he didn't know if it worked or not. But asked him, check the batteries. Um, put batteries in. He said it worked, and then I met up with the guy. Like I said, I got a the box. When you open the box, it smells brand new. It literally smells like the 70s or 60s whenever it is I'm not too sure about when this exact model came out but it's the Bell and Howe Filmasonic XL um, 21236 model that's what it is but even looking at the box I could tell that this camera would be in good shape this is the original box this isn't a replacement box the original box there's just little tears at the corner and he said it was his grandparents camera and they probably used it like once so with that being said um i believe you know I, I could believe it i definitely could believe it and uh also if you don't know what all the controls are they are um on the back so that's just helped me out um what is that Okay, the lock run button. So I guess it you can lock that button in and it'll just continuously run. I'm not too sure exactly. Um, okay, that was the viewfind shutter. Well, I mean, shoot. It's working good for me learning about more stuff instead of having to search videos and all of that stuff. But like I said, I did some uh, research and it was hard trying to find a Super 8 that was a cheap price. Uh, a good price um, one that was tested this wasn't tested until I just did it but I won't f I won't fully find out until I you buy I mean I use um film which I had also purchased right here super 8 
Kodak Vision 3 color negative film. It's 50D. And I'm just going to put it in for you guys. Um, really. Uh, turn it off. And then this switch, switch here. You press open. And it opens up right there. And let me turn it back on to show you guys. Oh, hold on. What, what did I do? Okay, so it will not. Maybe. Maybe if it's open, it will not run. Uh, hmm. I've seen some videos where it's open and they uh can run it but as far as i know when it closes you know you can hear the motor run and seeming that the shape is it it's in the light indicator i would think that this thing works falsely um there's not a scratch or stain nothing on this camera that being said, I'm going to open this and with the Kodak Vision 3, um, the D is for um, daylight. The D on here, 50D, is for the daylight, which means that it's safe to use this in the daylight. safe to take out your film and switch it in a daylight, under light, you know, as opposed to regular film where... You can't, you know, really do that without messing it up. So, this is what it looks like coming out of the box. I'm not going to run it or anything like that, but um, I got this off of eBay for like 30 some dollars maybe. But as you can see, you know. I'm going to uh, put this in, I'm assuming that it goes in like, oh yeah, like that, boom, put it in there, rock and roll, ready to go. Um, I'm not going to waste any of it, uh, turn it off so I don't accidentally run it, but um, I plan to use this for a little you know a few projects and then bring back another video update you guys on how that went but other than that um yeah if you do want to see more content like this you can like subscribe uh comment let me know if you got any questions i'll read all the comments uh reply as much as possible i'll leave my instagram down below so even if you guys miss it on youtube i'll have like uh I'll have a video up on Instagram, um, basically on this camera, my other cameras. I'll be doing reviews soon on the EOS R that I just recently picked up, which I'm filming on, and a Sigma 24-70 Art Lens 2.8 that I'm filming on, um, the 35 1.4 Art, the Pentax PZ70 film camera. Um, I got a bunch of that stuff that I need to, you know, get videos for, and I'm actually in the process, so this is the first video that I'm doing with this, and, uh, yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for more content. Thank you for watching. Peace.